Now, there are decisions in everybody's life that they will never regret. I think for Austin, one of his was going to Swiss Turners. Austin was one of the most gifted gymnasts that I've ever seen in the common course. Maybe I'm just so impressed with his skills on that thing, because I can never imagine myself doing any of this as he does. I've always asked my parents if we could take a vacation to Arizona. Um, luckily for Austin, he gets to spend the next four years there in the paradise while he attends Arizona State University. Notice that I said attends, because I'm not sure how much study he'll get done there. Wait a minute, I just remember. At ASU, Austin mentioned me that there are many pretty girls there with beautiful tan lines and very pretty girls. I stand corrected. Austin will get plenty, plenty of studying done, if you know what I mean. Speaking of girls, I thought I should mention that um, Austin was the prom king in his school, and that truly says a lot about his respect he commands with his classmates. With such talent both in the gym and outside the gym, I have every confidence that Austin will su succeed in everything he sets up to do. Austin, best wishes to you at ASU. Bless you, man. City Hard. Anthony. <clears throat> I met Anthony three years ago when I first came to Swiss Turners, and Anthony was one of the first guys that I was like started talking to. Um, he's a really accepting guy. He's really nice, and he's really good to talk to. So. It was great to have a close friend at Swiss right away. Um, Anthony lives pretty far from the gym, so he can't come every day, but he works really hard to come as many days as he can, so he is uh, a regular in the gym. Um, and Anthony, for me, is a really great motivator because he's had so many injuries and he's pushed through them and done really well, and when I've had my injuries, uh, I can look to him for advice and I've, I've done that and gotten through it, and that's been really great. Um, and Anthony is a really great teammate. If you're ever feeling down, Anthony's going to be over by you to ask if you're okay. So you can always count on him. Um, me and Anthony have real similar interests. We like cars and military stuff, so you can always go to Anthony with a nice manly conversation. <laughs> um, He's a real driven guy, so when we're doing strength and I don't want to do something, he's going to be like, boost, let's go, come on. He's always going to push me to keep going, and now he's going to keep going. And that's been a really great help at the gym. Um, so, I've, I've always been lucky to have Anthony at the gym, and I haven't known him for that long, it's been great. The time we've had at Swiss. Um, so, it's been a great time, and congrats on getting into Iowa and he'll be competing for their team and I know you'll do great. He is so good, in fact, that in a slow motion camera, see how many twists he actually does. Not only is uh, he a great gymnast, but he's even a better student. As many of you know, Robert is attending Stanford University next year. He's a perfect example of a student dedicated to an athlete. His ability to do well both in school and outside the gym, or in, inside the gym, inspires me to be just like him. Even beyond the gym and school, Robert is a skilled polygon, someone who speaks multiple languages. Robert uh, speaks French, English, and German. 
In fact, I'm pretty sure he actually speaks better Chinese than I do. <laughs> I speak for the whole team when I say Robert will be certainly missed. Um, Rob, our birthday Bobby, I wish you luck in your next chapter of your life at Sanford and your competition at the Engines. Once in a while, I pretty much know everything there is to know about Wong Sai. Wong Sai is one of the greatest people that you will ever meet in your life. He's always modest, he's always caring, always helping. He'll always give his best effort for you no matter what. He won't bail out on you, and he stays true to his word. Wong Sai is also one of the funniest people on the planet. <laughs> and I'm sure you've heard his laugh before. It's, uh, yeah. Um, I could stand up here for days and say jokes and quotes that only me and Wong Sai would understand. Um, I'm not going to do that because <laughs> uh, we'd just be up here on the ground rolling for quite a while. Um, but we have memories that will last a lifetime and I know that we'll stay brothers for life. We began our journey at Infinite. Uh, that's where we used to go before Swiss. And uh, we started out on a really big team, but it slimmed down over the years, and we grew really close. Uh, one side has always had natural talent, and he never was really able to put it to the best of his use. And we came to Swiss, and we both just accelerated. We became the gymnasts that we wanted to be. Um, I came about a month before Wong Sai, and every single day after practice, I'd get in the car and I'd get on my phone, and I'd talk to him probably 11 or 12 at night, telling him what we did at practice. Can't wait, can't wait for him to get to the gym. Um, and, uh, you know, it was a drastic switch for us, but it was a great jump forward for our gymnastic careers. In the old days, we always talked about what it would be like to get older. To be in high school, um, going off to school and college, and I guess we never really thought that it would actually happen. But uh, it's here, and we can't really believe it. But the things we used to joke about and imagine are now a reality. My brother here is going off to college, and I don't know what it's going to be like to go to practice every day without him. But I guess I'll have to get used to it. Once I will be competing for the Air Force Academy, and I've always been interested in military, and it's always been my, one of my big goals. Once I has been a really big help of it becoming a reality for me, but I never knew that that was one of his interests as well. Uh, when the college search began for Once I, he came in contact with quite a few coaches, um, and one of them was the Air Force Academy. He really liked what he was hearing. And he went to visit, and he came back, and he was like, that's where I'm going. I'm going to the Air Force Academy. And I was like, that's great. So now I can not only respect him for who he is, but for serving and defending our great country <clears throat> in the Air Force. Um, I know Wong Sai will succeed at everything he does, because that's the kind of guy he is. And let's just hope he doesn't kick get kicked out of the Air Force for laughing too loud. <laughs> so I'm sorry. I guess this is the end of our road. 
our childhood, the good old days, they end here. It's time to be adults. It's time to do our own stuff. Like, we gotta do our own insurance. <laughs> um, we gotta have jobs and, and families and all that crazy stuff that we used to think was just crazy talk. But now it's here. I'm gonna miss you a lot, bro. I wanna thank you for all the lessons that you've taught me over the years and the thousands of hours that we have laughing together and all the jokes and memories we've made. All the stupid stuff and the smart stuff that we've done. The advice you've given me, good and bad, and everything else. Thank you. I'll go get it. I can't thank Dino for everything that he's done for me in my life. Uh, Dima is truly a book. He's, he's family. I don't know, I feel like I would be a completely different person if Dimitri hasn't been there for the last 10 years of my life. I've through everything, through school, gymnastics, being a friend, being there for everything that I've ever needed him to be for. And just like Marvin, I think Dima's got a lot going for him. I know he's going to do a great job in Michigan. He's going to be very successful. Because that's just kind of guy Dima is. And I'll always remember Dima as somebody that was always there for me. Somebody that helped me through the through thing. Somebody that, that Somebody that is just, he's just, he's just great. I just, I can't even explain it because it's like, it's like a brother going off to college. And I'll always, 
I'm on this too, but I hope that I can join you sometime, see you in the future, as an opponent, as a teammate, and I'd just like to, I'd just like to say thank you for everything you've ever done. All right, it was very nice, you guys.